Wait, what? What, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Someone's built the base underneath my base. Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Vault Hunters. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure who has built a base under my base, but it's very clearly a base underneath my base. Gonna have to have a word with people when they're online and try to solve the mystery of the, the base under the base. But today I have a whole load of stuff I want to do. I've been running some vaults, so I've got a load of material, and I think it's about time that I start unlocking some mods, as well as also trying to upgrade our pickaxe, because at the moment we still have the vanilla pickaxes and stuff that aren't as good as the pickaxes in Vault Hunters. But also, I want to tell you all about my secret project that I've been hinting at in the last few episodes. So let's just get right into it. First thing I want to do is to unlock some knowledge stars. First thing I want to do is to unlock some knowledge points. Uh, I do have a good amount of knowledge essence. I've been kind of chucking in chests. That's to knowledge cores and to knowledge stars. Now there's obviously some really big mods I'm trying to work towards. I want to get the create mod as soon as possible. That's going to be one of the best ones that we can unlock. But for now, we need to kind of deal with our storage system, which is pretty bad. So we're going to unlock drawers because drawers are essential for Vault Hunters. And also we're going to unlock the simple storage network. And that's going to help us sort out all of the gear that we have. You can see here we've got just chests and chests of stuff. Now, unfortunately, to get a sorting system online, we need to actually uh, get ourselves some networks, some storage inventories, a whole lot of blocks. Uh, and the storage inventory isn't too bad. We can probably do this quite easily. The network route is also pretty easy. However, I noticed that for the drawers, we are going to need a drawer controller and... Uh, we do have most of these ingredients, but we're missing a pog because we have these rare gems, but we're missing scallium, tubium, and sparkletine, I believe. So we are going to have to uh, go into some vaults to try and get those last gems we need. But before we do that, let's make ourselves a new pickaxe. We got the first chromatic iron pick. And if we press here, we now have a chromatic iron pick, which has all the affinities that we need. Alrighty, time for a vault, and Sturkat is going to be joining us for this one. <laughs> oh, I like the fox head. It's annoying, you can't see my face. That is, that is true. Did you have to kill a fox to get it? Yes. I mean, I expect nothing less from you, to be honest. <laughs> wow. I mean, you literally, yeah. you, you literally told me you killed a fox, so like, you know, I don't think it's on me. I mean, this is on you. No, <laughs> you suggested it. I'm just saying it. Yeah, I don't think yeah. I've seen this theme before. It's beautiful. It is pretty cool. I like it. I'm just spawning in everything. Yeah. Oh, actually, this this isn't ores. So I think there's only one ores downstairs. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, there's a champion. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Especially when they're surrounded by slimes that are gonna just poison me. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! 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 Yeah, I'm keep, running. Keep running. It's See, all... you're stopping. <laughs> I was, I was doing some drive-by looting. It's just, you know, you got to. You like do... this room then? This room, I'm a, I can try. It's a good one. You can come down if you want. Okay. But there are spiders up here that follow us. Ah. Uh, okay, you deal with the spiders, I'll do the looting. <laughs> yeah, that sounds fair. Sounds fair, sounds fair. Oh, I forgot I got my new pickaxe now, I can actually loot properly rather than. Oh, I haven't made that one yet. Oh god. Oh, oh, oh. That's all good. It's all fine. Don't worry about me. Um, if you okay, any, when you if, said that. If you see any numbers changing, um, that was all planned. Oh, I think it is an all room. Yeah, I found a big one. Oh, it's the cove! Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! 
Ooh, that's good. Do you oh. Wanna, do you want to be up? Do you want to be down? Oh, yeah, you don't get anything, do you? <gasps> no, I don't do. But I want to get this for Corey. That is a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna loot here then. Take your coins. That's much needed later. <laughs> exactly. I'm stockpiling now for when I uh, die. <laughs> <laughs> yep, here it is. I've done okay. it. Yay! Yeah, look at us, pros. Oh, another Alexa. Okay, let's go. I mean, not so it's very easy, so I don't think it. You know, should be fine. Oh, oh! I think that's a tubium. Excellent. That's what I need. I need to unlock my uh, what's it called? The, the storm thing. Oh, I have that. Yeah, I haven't focused on it yet, but I need to really get hold of that. Yeah, I like it so much last season. So I yeah, need it. it's really yeah. useful. Just like when you've got like a room. Full of people. Oh God! No, I may die. I may die. I'm probably gonna die. No. Yep. No. 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 I got caught. Ah. Uh. Uh. I mean, I did walk out with an escalium and a tubium, so that's mostly of what I needed. Stercat has had to go, but I'm hoping to find that last sparkle team that I need. It's quite annoying because we had a vault and a mine and I died, which is unfortunate. We are nearly level 20, which is worrying. Because at level 20, uh, we lose that beginner's grace. And I've not stopped dying yet. Oh, that's an opium, right? Puffium. No, Upaline, that's what it's called. Uh, it's good. It'll be good if I can trade it with someone, I guess. Oh, there it is. Sparkle Teen. Now, what we want it to do is to drop two. Oh, Xenium. Because uh, then we can give one to Stercat, one for us. But there's always a chance that the ores will drop zero, in which case uh, we won't be able to do it. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to pop it now, just so we can uh, we can know if we got it or not. Ah, we got one. All right, that's good. That is still good. Uh, it's a village room. I think this is a living chest one as well. Maybe we do go down and explore a bit. Because now we can actually break... Oh, God, no. Bad start, bad start. Come on. Okay, we broke the spawner. Wait, where's the chests? Are there no chests in here? Yeah, this is good because this means we can get a lot of uh, knowledge essence. And if we die here, we still get everything. We just don't get the XP, which is not the end of the world. Fine, let's have a quick look. We've got 52 knowledge essence. That's almost a knowledge star in itself. Oh, oh my God! It's a, it's a, you know, what's it called? Ah. Okay, I actually don't like that. I may, I may leave. So there we go. Lovely. We leveled up again. I'm gonna take another heal because oh fully learned we're fully learned in heal so actually maybe we'll go for the smite those leggings are oh actually plus five health yeah i'll take those leggings those look good right it's almost time to start working on our storage system before we do that let's have a quick word about the big project we're doing this season i'm gonna use this wall as a as an ideas board so the thing we're going to be doing this season is to build an enormous mini game, which I guess would be called a, a maxi game. Now I've done mini games before in the past. This is going to be bigger than anything we've done before. And it's going to be called Jank. You know, like junk, but jank because it's a bit janky. Now, obviously, this is inspired by Decked Out, uh, Tango Tech's enormous build that he's done for Hermitcraft. And I'm not going to deny, obviously, you know, he's a big inspiration uh, for a lot of the mini games and maxi games that I do. But I have had an idea and I think I can make something that is very different from what he has made. The general idea of Jank is that we're going to have 10 different levels. And on each of the levels, you're going to be able to get... 10 random items 
stuff like you know iron ingots empty bottles uh, anything you can think of right for a total of a hundred random objects whenever you start a new game of junk you get to put in a shulker box of completely random objects that you choose and these objects will change how the the game is played now you obviously get a choice of which objects to bring in but the only way you know what an object does is by trying it out now the main difference between decked out and jank is that jank is a cooperative game everyone on the server is working together towards a common goal and that means that if somebody's not very good at parkour that's fine they don't have to do any of the parkour they can do any of the other challenges that are within the jank system now quite importantly although this is a vault hunter server and everything is you know modded i'm going to be doing this completely in vanilla now i'm going to use modded slightly to kind of help me out obtain items for example obtaining building blocks digging out big areas but when it comes to the mechanics of jank it is going to be vanilla only the only exception may be an audio system because i really like what tango tech has done with uh decked out too i think the audio is a crucial part of that game so i think that's the only thing i can't replicate in minecraft vanilla but everything else 100 percent vanilla so starting from next episode we're gonna be looking at just kind of the general outline of how junk works cool so that's the exciting stuff that is coming up very very soon on the server but before anything else we need to really work on our sorting system so i'm not entirely sure how i'm going to do this i don't know if i want to have a sorting system up here or to have it down here okay it's kind of really working a bit i'm connecting up ah i see i have misplaced these somewhat then ah so uh i've discovered a small issue uh, apparently there's no way to give priority to different things so if i put say like a, a diamond in here even though i have a diamond in this uh, drawer for example it could still go all the way to my chests so there's no way to kind of combine those two systems together until we unlock other mods okay that's gonna make it slightly trickier but i think we can work with this right i've slightly rearranged this so that these chests are now on a different wall and honestly i think what we do at the moment is to just have this system like this yeah and i think we just leave it like this basically yeah i mean it's not the most elegant of solutions but it'll work and eventually when we lock refined storage uh we can use the drawers and other stuff to kind of make this work even better so I think we've achieved quite a lot today. We've sorted out our storage, we've got a good pickaxe, and we've talked about our big max game for the season. So I think that is everything. I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and if you have, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Wait, wait a second. What's that?